before we begin, I want to spend a little bit of time and just setting up our workspace and talking about uh, a, a few a few tools and navigation inside the four uh, viewports. So first things first, once uh, you're presented with Hammer, you're going to start new and create a new map. Now let me resize this down. So now what you want to do is uh, make sure that your default texture is somewhere in the in the developer texture. So in in the filter keyword type in dev and select one of these developer textures because once you're blocking in your map you want to have something that's you know you, you don't want to be texturing your environments when you blacken in your uh, your level designs. So once we have our default texture selected, uh, let's go into uh, tools and options. There's a few things that I usually turn off here. Um, I go on the general tab and I usually uh, turn off auto saves because I, uh, I save often and I would highly recommend that you do the same. Uh, so you might want to have this on. I personally turn it off and also undo levels. I keep it at 50. And it takes a, a lot of memory if you want to bump it up higher. And under 2D views, my grid size, I turn it down to 16. Okay. And also right here on the lower hand corner, uh, you have snap on. Make sure that's on. And also grid size is uh, drop it down to 16. And the way you do that is you have two bracket keys right next to P and just hit it so you have 16. Now let's uh, let's build our floor so you're able to see into the uh, 3D viewport. Select make sure uh, select your uh, your primitive, your uh, brush tool and then objects on the block. And uh, let's just drag this out to a little bit something smaller. And under uh, in the side view, just scale it down to, s to about 16, and I'm press enter, and it creates my brush, and it has the default texture applied as I have it here. Uh, so let me talk a little bit about how to navigate inside the viewports. To move inside each viewport, you press space, and you're able to move around and move that viewport. Um, when you, if you want to maximize the window to f to full like I'm doing here, you have to select the viewport that you want to maximize, and you press Shift to Z. Also, to zoom in, I'm just using my mouse wheel to scroll in and out. S and uh, in a 3D viewport, you're able to move around by pressing the space bar just like moving everything in uh, 2D views and also if you press Z tap on the Z button once you you go in the uh, world view and you use your A, S, D and W keys to move around like you would in the game and the mouse just looks around just like you play uh, Left 4 Dead that's how you move around and you tap Z again to exit out of it so those are the main functions that I often use and you are also able to zoom in and out inside the 3D viewport. Also under camera you do a wireframe, a flat and all these uh, different ones. Once you start texturing I usually have textured selected but then when I'm beginning to apply uh, lights and everything else I can do light and previews which is huge huge improvement over the last um, hammer uh, versions because you weren't able to actually have a 3d light preview now you do which is amazing so I usually have 3d textures selected when I'm applying textures and everything else and then I switch it to accordingly to what I need and that is pretty much it for a kind of entrance beginner um, into a hammer interface and moving around so uh, let's begin blocking in our first room. <laughs> 